youth represents over one-third of the population in Liberia and Sierra Leone. They have a critical role to play in the future of food security. However, every day young people move away from agriculture because of the very limited opportunities there are for them. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations supports the governments of Liberia and Sierra Leone to enhance responsible investment in agriculture with a strong focus on mobilizing youth's potential. Agriculture, youth, there's no way you can talk about developing in Liberia without those two. And that's why as RAI uh, team, we're trying to ensure that youth is mainstream, but also they are fully empowered to ensure that uh, uh, agriculture is sustainable and more responsible. FAO has worked with policymakers to improve governance aspects that are strategic to promote youth engagement in agriculture. This has been done through assessments, learning programs and policy dialogue. Uh, one of the key learnings is that um, it, it beat, us, uh, beat up my capacity as a director and it has given me in, um, the inspiration or the motivation to look at so many unseen opportunities out there. Um, especially when it comes to uh, training, I've realized through this, uh, through this workshop that um, there is need for a paradigm shift. In parallel, FAO has provided capacity development support to youth organizations on advocacy skills, inclusive business models, and policy dialogue engagement. Through this project, we've been able to address a bit of the capacity issues, especially as it relates to training under the different um, responsible agriculture principles. We've been able to train them on organizational development, advocacy, climate smart agriculture, and so forth. So they now have that audacity to take on issue and move forward, especially with the participation in the policy dialogue issues. So we are making some progress and the impact is visible because after the training, a lot of them were able to go and restructure, redesign the different youth organizations. This is what uh, we can see from this point that young people were able to, to, to get out of the process. They got the skill to be able to organize and serve in the active groupings and, and entrepreneurial activity wherein they can be able to contribute to food security. They were also be, uh, trained to be able to work with actors in the agriculture value chain through the inclusive business, business model, which gave them an opportunity to know the actors and to know the mentors and approaches and principles that are most needed to make sure that uh, they get the most out of what they are doing in agriculture entrepreneurship. This process has included a multi-stakeholder dialogue event where youth had the opportunity to discuss directly with policymakers. The policy dialogue, uh, one of the major outcomes was that we were able to develop a, a national action plan as well as a co national communique for the young people that will be presented or that is being presented to the government, functionaries including the executive and then the legislators and all others so that young people aspirations can be seen in the policy development and concession granting uh, processes in Liberia in relation to responsible agriculture investment. What we aim to do in the future, and particularly for, for Liberia and Sierra Leone, is to work on very tangible steps to empower youth in the context of responsible agriculture investment. Their involvement in policy making processes, their enhanced access to financial services, to training incubation, to formal education, their enhanced access to markets, and also working with the youth through peer-to-peer -peer learning and self-help groups.